Hello and welcome back to the Coder Shop channel. In today's video, we're diving into an essential feature in order inventory management, push and pull rules. These rules help automate product movement within your warehouse, making logistics smoother and more efficient. Understanding how push and pull rules work can significantly improve warehouse operations by reducing manual handling and optimizing inventory flow. So let's break it down step by step and see how we can use them in Odo 18. First, let's open the inventory module. From here, we need to check the configuration settings to ensure that storage locations and multi-step routes are enabled. These options allow us to track product locations and define movement routes. Now let's check out our warehouse setup. By default, Odo provides a warehouse named Your Company. Under the warehouse settings, we have shipment section where we can control how products move in and out of stock. Incoming shipments are used to receive products into stock. Outgoing shipments move products from our warehouse to the customer's location. We can configure these shipping processes using one, two, or three steps, depending on our needs. For now, I'd like to set up incoming and outgoing shipments to follow a three-step process. First, we receive the item from the vendor, then the item is moved to the quality control area. Once it passes the quality check, it's finally moved into the warehouse. Now let's talk about the three-step outgoing shipment. First, we pick the item from the warehouse, then we pack the item for shipment. Finally, we send it to the customer. This setup gives us better control over inventory movements and ensures that products meet quality standards before reaching customers. Now when we save the changes, Auto automatically updates the push and pull rules for us. We can check out all the related product movements by clicking the Roots Smart button. Let's dive into Delivery in One. From here we can see the complete route overview. Push rules are triggered when products arrive at a specific location automatically directing them to their next destination. They are super useful for internal transfers or when products need to be moved somewhere else for further processing or storage. Pull rules, on the other hand, work on demand, triggering product movement when needed, like fulfilling a sales order or restocking inventory. Clicking on any rule opens a pop-up window where we can configure it more specifically. You'll also notice the dynamic text on the right that clearly explains what each rule does. This description updates based on the inputs you configure, making it easy to understand how the rules are working. You can actually see a visual representation of every step in the process. To do that, let's go to products and open some of them. Inside the product form, we'll head over to the inventory tab to check out the selected rules. Now let's click on this view diagram link. This gives us a visual overview of all the steps this product follows along its routes. And here's something really cool. If you click on any arrow in the diagram, it will take you straight to the specific rules configuration page, where you can adjust its settings just like we talked about earlier. Next, let's move over to the purchase module and create a new RFQ. Let's select a vendor and add some product we want to buy. Let's set the quantity to 10 units. Once that's done, let's set the RFQ and click confirm to turn it into a purchase order. Now we need to receive the items by validating the delivery from the vendor to our warehouse input. And just like that, the items have arrived in the warehouse input location. Next, we need to check for quality control. Every step of the process we can do in two ways. By clicking on the next transfer smart button or head over to the inventory overview where we will find the transfer listed under the related operation section and validate it from there. Here you can see that the current operation is quality control and the source location is warehouse input. Once the quality check is passed, the items will move to the warehouse quality control location. So let's click validate and a new transfer has been created. Now we need to move the items into stock. 
The operation type here is storage, meaning we are simply transferring the items into inventory. The current location is quality control, and the destination location is warehouse slash stock. Let's click weather date one more time, and that's it. The items are now stored in our inventory. If we check our product, we can see that we are successfully received 10 units into stock. And that's how push and pull rules work in order. By using these rules effectively, businesses can improve inventory accuracy and efficiency. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more audit tutorials. See you in the next one.